hello everyone welcome to the youtube channel and welcome to the video here today we are going to solve a really really interesting maths problem that is sine inverse of x whole divided by square root of x square plus a square now the question is that we have to reduce this particular problem in the simplest form possible so in order to do, do that, we first have to figure out a way where the sine inverse, which is mentioned outside the box, can be cancelled out using the formulas of trigonometry and then can be cancelled out using further calculations here. So here what we can do is, first of all, we can uh, substitute the value of x here so that this particular part of the fraction gets cancelled out or reduced. So the substitution that I will be making here is that let's take the value of x as a 10 theta so as soon as we take the value of x as a 10 theta then this entire question will get converted into 10 theta such as the value of sine this way this will be sine inverse of a 10 theta whole divided by square root of this will be uh, a square 10 square theta plus this value of a square will remain intact so this will be sine inverse of a let me shift the paper a little bit so this will be a 10 theta whole divided by square root of let us take the value of a square common so this will be 1 plus 10 square theta now we know that uh, there is a standard identity in trigonometry where the value of 1 plus 10 square theta is sec square theta so let us substitute that value here so this will be a 10 theta whole divided by square root of a square and this part will become sec square theta so since this value is inside a square root so that means this can be bought outside the square so this will be a 10 theta whole divided by a sec theta so a and a will get cancelled out so this will be sine inverse now the sine now this 10 theta can be written as sine theta upon cos theta and 1 upon sec theta is basically cos theta so this cos theta and this cos theta will get cancelled out so all we are left with is sine inverse of sine theta here sine inverse of sine theta will give us the value as theta because pair of sine inverse and sine will cancel out but we cannot lift the answer in terms of theta since this is a variable that we have introduced so we go back to where we started that is we substituted the value of a sorry value of x as a 10 theta so let us calculate the value of 10 theta from this side so this will be x divided by a so that means if i take the value of theta then this 10 will be shifted to the right hand side and would be converted into 10 inverse so this will be 10 inverse of x divided by a so that means in this step where we will getting the value of final value as theta so that means the final answer is 10 inverse of x divided by a so this my friend right here is the final answer to this problem so i hope that you really enjoyed the video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share the video thanks for watching